after almost a month without receiving a beta update today we have a macOS beta which is 13.3 beta 1 that we can update our devices to I did have issues initially trying to update to this and I had to sometimes restart my device and reinstall the beta profile to be able to get this so this is an update that you're thinking of updating to you might want to keep that in mind and as you can see here for me the update size came in at exactly 3.34 gigs and the download size increased to 4.45 gigs now at the time of this recording the full ipsw file is available however there is no full installer yet and if we open up safari just to see some other updates that apple released today you can see ios and ipad os 16.4 the first beta we have mac os 13.3 beta 1 of course this is the video for that and we have watch os 9.4 beta which i'll be covering pretty soon and we have tvOS 16.4 beta 1. Most of these updates I do update and cover here on the channel. So if you want to get to know what's new and changed within these operating systems, then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Now, if we go into our settings and go to general and go to software update, you want, you'll want you be able to see the build number 22E5219E. So it ends with an E. And in terms of stability, just goes to show that there's quite a number of things that still need to be fixed. Let's talk about some of the new changes that are here with this update itself. And the first one has to do with the up time it takes to update and the time it's taking to prepare. Now, I did ask around because this is something that I experienced. On average, my preparation time used to take somewhere between 8 to 10 minutes. But with this update, I noticed that it took half that time, which was about 5 minutes and not only is it my device but a number of people that I reached out to did confirm this so that's a plus when it comes to this update and then if we open up Safari again and go to where it says about Safari you'll be able to see the version that it has been incremented or updated so now we have version 16.4 on Mac OS 13.3 before on the previous Mac OS version which was Mac OS 13.2.1 that I was on the version that we had was 16.3 and now you can see we have 16.4 and the build number is 18615.1.21.11.5 so that is a good thing and of course they are updating and changing some of the other settings that are here and i want to show you some of the changes that this safari 16.4 has to offer so if we click here where it says develop and go to experimental features and if you go all the way down you'll be able to see that initially we had items that have were checked on and now after updating to safari 16.4 those items have been checked off and the first one has to do with web codex av1 so if we go to the web codex av1 you can see that that's checked off and then we have web rtc av1 you can see that that codec is also checked off we have also web rtc h256 codec and web rtc vp9 profile which is the video codec you can see that that has been turned off before this used to be turned on and it's not only are those the changes that are here with safari but there's other changes that you might notice if you go point by point and I would be happy to let you know that this safari brings improvements in audio for web configurations and it adds support for subnet of audio web api and finally we have support for virtual camera support when you are doing a function that requires you to be able to use a virtual camera if we open up the home app you see here that it now initially reverts to discover unlike before where it would revert to home so after testing it out, it would always revert to discover. But since I skipped the splash screen that's here, you can see what's here on discover. Nothing really major, but you can see if you go to the home page and then you go to where it says home settings, you'll be able to see, you know, a software update that you can do. And you can see that now when this when it comes to this home app, it supports it supports the revamped home kit architecture and you can always do a software update 
if you have home devices that support that also if we go to the version that's supposed to be coming with the new apple silicon max that are going to be shipped pretty soon it's being said that that is going to be mac os 13.3 now if in the code so far haven't been able to see anything in the code that suggests this or gives us hints or in any forum so i'll be keeping an eye on different forums and doing research to see if then for sure the new apple silicon mac pro is going to be shipped with mac os 13.3 and if it does then i might cover a video since that's something that's going to be big and a powerful machine when it comes to some apple silicon portable sds or sd extended capabilities those cards now require user approval before the card can communicate communicate with macOS and that is something that I found in the release notes of this update now also it doesn't end when it comes to the wallpaper section we do have some minor wording changes nothing major if you go to the wallpaper section you notice that now it says dynamic wallpapers instead of dynamic desktop you can see these ones remain more or less the same but just minor wording changes that that doesn't affect operations this is a change that's already here on ios so if you go to general and go to software update page you have the ability to choose whether you want to update a normal update or a beta update and that is going to be synced with your apple id meaning that pretty soon websites that share apple beta profile or developer beta profile will have a hard time extracting that profile which is going to be improvement in terms of security now when it comes to new emojis if we press control option and and spacebar you see that the new emojis that we have we have quite a few actually and you can see the most frequently used ones that i had just um, i was just accessing so if we hover over this one you see that it says it's a shaking face if we hover over this one it will be able to tell you the pink heart and also if you hover over this one you'll be able to see the description of it and it will tell you what it is but i did create a note that has all the new emojis that we received with mac os 13.3 so you can see the shaking face you can see the different heart colors that we have the different icons and new animals and um, things that have been added to the emojis on this section and if i double click here and press shift command and period you can see i'm able to resize this but that's something for another topic but these are the new emojis that we have and these are to comply with unicode 15 standards now that's good when it comes to podcast i did see a new splash screen initially when i opened up my podcast app so you can see here it says welcome to podcast filter episodes when viewing a show in your library future episodes by played and played downloaded or saved and you can browse by season if you start listening you'll be able to see this plus screen comes up again this is a bug that i've been experiencing for quite a while now maybe after a power cycle my device this might fix the issue but you can see here that it's always popping up for me when it comes to that splash screen now i'll be happy to let you know that when it comes to keyboards there's been minor updates for example when it comes to the korean keyboard and ukrainian keyboard those now support dictation which is a great thing now i'll be happy to let you know also that when it comes to some display settings we do have changes when it comes to this update so i'll close this notes and then if i go to where it says displays and select the internal or built-in display you can see we have the advanced section here and we now have a show resolution as list and if you enable that you'll be able to see the list of all resolutions that are showing here it used to be there but for some reason now you can see that by default this is turned off and just a minor change in this aspect now when it comes to shortcuts they've added some extra shortcuts that will go hand in hand with the latest ios 16 beta update so if you use them on your I iphone or ipad they'll auto populate and you'll be able to see them here on your mac now other than that those seems to be the changes that are here when it comes to mac os 
13.3 beta i'll be happy to let you know that if we go to the release notes of this update we do have some known issues that we have been reported here and you can see here we have known issues when it comes to icloud settings some known issues when it comes to pages numbers and keynotes or iWorks as also we have known issues for meta and we also have some resolved issues when it comes to swift ui and we have a resolved issue here that has to do with dragging items and if you want to read more you can see some of the issues that we have also pertaining to virtualization now those are some of the issues that are here and that have been mentioned with this update you can see it does have some changes it has new emojis and so on but let's talk about the next beta release which is mac os 13.3 beta 2 today being um the february 17 i would say the next beta maybe won't be next week but the following after giving us maybe february 28 as the next approximate date for a beta 2 update now other than that that's about it for me when it comes to this update if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video